Hey Vikes, I'm McKenna. And I'm Alexis, and you're watching SBTV. Here are your daily announcements. Seniors, if you are fully remote and if you have qualified for a final waiver, an email has been sent to you with instructions. Reach out to Miss Guys if you have any more questions. The senior panoramic photo is scheduled for Thursday, April 29th. Order forms are available in the front office. Payment is due the day the photo is taken. Prom photos are out. Digital downloads are no charge. If you ordered prints, they will be sent directly to the address you entered. Fishing Club is reimbursing students that have purchased a fishing license this year. Bring your fishing license to Mr. Wilson in room N8 and he will get you a Seaman Bank check for the cost of a single year license. If you are interested in the Boston, New York trip in June of 2023, there will be an informational Google Meet tonight at 7 p.m. For any questions, contact Mr. McAllister. Sophomores and juniors, if you're interested in participating in the week-long trip to Washington, D.C. that is scheduled for next school year in November, please drop by Mr. Cromie's room. The Topeka Youth Commission is collecting items to fill hygiene bags for homeless Topekans. Please bring items April 26th through the 30th to your CLP classroom. April is Autism Awareness Month. Please wear red all week to support autism awareness. The FBI Kansas City Division is offering its Youth Leadership Academy on Friday, June 25th, 2021. Students who will be juniors or seniors in the fall of 2021 are welcome to apply. If you have questions, see Ms. Ross. The Viking Crew Mentorship Program is looking for mentors for the 2021 through 2022 school year. For more information, check Schoology. Applications are due by Wednesday, May 5th. Ava and Olivia caught up with some seniors to see their plans for after high school. Let's check it out. I plan to go to Kansas State University. I'm going to Baker University. Um, well, I'm going to go to K-State, and then I'm going to study to be an elementary education teacher, and then I'm going to get my master's so I can be a guidance counselor. So at Baker, I'll be playing soccer there, and I'm planning to go like the pre-med track, so hopefully I can get into sports medicine once all that's over. Yeah, work with athletes and stuff. Go Cats! Uh, after high school, I plan on going to Kansas State University to study agricultural economics and minor in animal science and industry. Um, and then after college, I plan to go into law enforcement. I plan on attending Vanderbilt University in the fall, and I'm going to double major in percussion music education, as well as either biochemistry or psychology. I have not decided on my second major yet. I'm going to Berkeley College of Music in Boston. Um, to study audio production and engineering. So currently my plan is to go to the University of Kansas and pursue both um, a dual major in marketing and journalism. Those are some interesting plans. Now over to sports after this quick commercial break. On Friday, April 30th and Saturday, May 1st this week, Seaman High School Theater will be performing its one-act shows that are student-led at 7 p.m. for $5. They will be performing the show's Law & Order Fairy Tale Unit, directed by Tanner McNutt, and It's Not Me, It's You, directed by Mary Page Bramlett. Make sure to come out and support our theater department.
Are you interested in learning Russian next year? For free? Or maybe even earning three college credits per semester? Join the upcoming KU Slavic webinar on May 4th and see what this class can do for you. Students are even eligible for an introductory lesson on May 11th. Sign up on Schoology now. Tyler Parher signed to Washburn last week. Um, well, I was planning on going to Washburn in the fall for nursing to begin with, and I thought it would be fun to try out for the cheer team. It was close to home, and um, I'm on the cheer team here at Seaman, so I thought it would be fun to continue cheering at the collegiate level. He joined us last year for football season and automatically stood out as somebody who's willing to put forth their all and really kind of commit to our team and show everybody what it's like to have school spirit. Well, Tyler's first experiences with being a cheerleader with a broken foot. Um, and so he learned right away how to use his voice and energy to be a leader. And then after that, he was able to start working on jumps and um, other skills like that. He is an amazing contributor to our stunt teams, and we really missed out on that this year. But I know that's something at Washburn he's looking forward to doing. Um, Tyler has set um, the bar really high for um, future Yale leaders, and we are going to greatly miss his spirit and energy on our team. We wish him the best of luck at Washburn. Congrats, Tyler. Girls tennis meeting today at 1.15 in the West Commons with Coach Gill. This meeting is for any girls interested in playing tennis. Girls soccer plays Topeka West at 501 Sports Park on Thursday, April 29th. Check the link online to get your tickets. The NFL Draft is in full swing. With the first pick in the NFL Draft. Good afternoon. Today we are announcing the second half of the 2021 SBTV NFL Mock Draft. I'm Carl Russell with Connor Shire and Alex Schmidt, and here's pick 17. With the 17th pick, we have the Las Vegas Raiders taking linebacker Jeremiah Owusu-Koromoa out of Notre Dame. He is an elite edge rush prospect. He has gotten past some of the best blockers in this year's draft. I think he has all he needs to be a top edge rusher in the NFL. With the 18th pick, we have the Miami Dolphins selecting Christian Barrymore out of Alabama. The 6'4", 3'10", defensive tackle is very speedy with such a big body, and he looks to add a lot to the Dolphins' defensive line. With the 19th pick, the Washington football team selects USC offensive lineman Elijah Vera Tucker. Washington has a great defensive and now a great receiving core, but they need a replacement for former left tackle Trent Williams. The Chicago Bears use the 20th pick in our mock draft on wide receiver Rashad Bateman. Chicago's defense carried this team to any success they had in the last three years, and there are many holes on the offense, including quarterback. Offense is a priority, and Bateman is the best player available at this pick. With the 21st pick in our mock draft, we have the Indianapolis Colts selecting Elijah Moore, the wide receiver of Ole Miss. The speedy wide receiver can help incoming quarterback Carson Wentz a lot, and he is very good at getting up in the air and can and has great footwork. With the 22nd pick, the Tennessee Titans select quarterback J.C. Horn out of South Carolina. J.C. Horn's coverage abilities are NFL ready. He has already covered some of the top prospects in this year's draft. He has the hands and the athleticism to be a top corner in the NFL. The New York Jets select Miami defensive end Jalen Phillips with the 23rd pick. Phillips is an extremely athletic defensive end and can bring a burst to the Jets defense while also being a solid run stopper. With the 24th pick in our mock draft, we have the Pittsburgh Steelers selecting offensive tackle Tevin Jenkins out of Oklahoma State University. With Ben Roethlisberger's age getting higher and higher, he needs a lot of protection on the offensive line and Tevin Jenkins can provide it very good. With our 25th pick in the NFL mock draft, we have the Jacksonville Jaguars selecting Trevon Moore out of TCU. 
Considering how badly the Jacksonville Jaguars secondary performed last year, he would be a great pickup to boost the defensive end of the ball. The Cleveland Browns select linebacker Zayvon Collins with the 26th pick. The Browns just signed Jadavian Clowney, filling their large hole at defensive end. Their linebacking core is the only area they need to improve on this defense, and adding the Tulsa product can boost them into one of the top units of 2021. With the 27th pick, the Baltimore Ravens select wide receiver Terrence Marshall of LSU. The most obvious hole on Baltimore's roster is the wide receiver position, and they don't blink and take the top wide receiver on the board here. With the 28th pick, the New Orleans Saints will, sele will select Greg Newsom, the cornerback out of Northwestern. With major losses to the New Orleans secondary, they really need some help, and Greg Newsom can provide it as a high upside quarterback. With the 29th pick, the Green Bay Packers select Asante Samuel, cornerback. The Packers need depth at the cornerback position, and Asante Samuel is the perfect fit. He will play well with Jair Alexander, and his coverage skills are NFL ready. With the 30th pick, the Buffalo Bills select edge rusher Aziz Ojulari of Georgia. Although he's a smaller body at the edge position, only coming in at 250 pounds, he has a lot of strength along the line and could help bring the Bills to another playoff appearance. With their new 31st pick from the Kansas City Chiefs, the Baltimore Ravens will take Penn State defensive end Jason away. The Ravens, have, the Ravens have a big need for help along the defensive line, and Jason Away can help a lot with their play. And he's a very good developmental prospect. With the last pick in the SVTV mock draft, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers select cornerback Aaron Robinson out of UCF. The only lacking position on the Buccaneers roster is corner. Their roster is almost perfect, but they could use some depth at corner, and he is the perfect fit for them. That concludes the 2021 SBTV NFL Mock Draft. Thanks for watching. Have a great afternoon. Not All Race Swim Team is accepting new members to compete. In the Caw Valley League from May 17th to July 17th, for further information, check Schoology. Now let's head over to the weather with Zoe. Good afternoon, Vikings. We have been above average temperatures for the past couple of days, but we are going to start cooling down as the week goes on. Today we are going to be expecting severe thunderstorms. The main things we are going to be worrying about is lightning and wind, possibly a bit of hail mixed in. Today we are going to be about an average temperature about the 70s area, which is normal for this time of year. And we are also expecting thunderstorms clear into tonight. For your SVTV 7 day forecast, we are going to be cooling down, possibly reaching back up into the 80s by next week, but then dropping back down to the 70s. Today is going to be our only chance of rain for the rest of this week, but Monday we are expecting possibly another round of thunderstorms to move through the area. Now back to your anchors. Thanks, Zoe. That's all we have today. Have a great rest of your day. Mm -hmm.